Welcome back to Last Call. California is bracing for triple-digit heat wave this holiday weekend, kicking off what could be a serious wildfire season because of record-breaking rainfall this spring. It just sparked so much vegetation growth. Wildfire risk has fueled an insurance crisis in the state. All state and State Farm announced last month they won't write new policies in California. Farmers said it put new limits on policies. AIG and Chubb have backed away from business in the state. Simply put, they just can't charge enough in premiums to justify the risk. And across California, many homeowners have been forced into a state-backed insurance option because they can't get a policy anywhere else. Consumer advocates are fighting to change that, asking state lawmakers to force insurers to white uh, wildfire policies for any homeowner who puts preventive fire measures in place. It's called mitigation. Carmen Balber is Consumer Watchdog's executive director who's pressed the legislature for the change. We also have Nancy Watkins. She's an expert on property insurance at Milliman Global Risk Consultant. It's great to see you ladies tonight. Thank you for joining me. Carmen, let me start with you. Give me a sense of why you think it's important to go to the state lawmakers and say, we got to change this. Insurers should have to issue policies if homeowners go out and clear away the shrubbery from their houses and, and take efforts to minimize the risk to their homes. That's what we have to do to reduce risk in the state of California. Homeowners who clear brush around their homes and who harden their homes against fire are 75% less likely to have their homes burned down. So in order to save insurance companies money, save our communities money, and save homeowners money from the damage of those fires, we need to increase incentives for mitigation. But homeowners aren't gonna spend that money if they don't know they're gonna get insurance at the end of the day. This is a conservative proposal because we're requiring insurance companies to cover only the people who do the right thing follow best practices to protect their homes from fire and reduce risk for all of us. And I just have to throw in there, you said at the top of the uh, top of the segment that insurance companies can't get the rate increases they need in California. That's completely false. Insurance companies have been getting rate increase after rate increase in California, have proposed huge rate increases, some of which aren't in fact justified recently. And State Farm, one of those insurers you mentioned, has gotten five increases in the last five years for about 35%. Uh, Nancy, why don't you take it away and tell me a little bit about, one, the state insurance commissioner is in charge of the rate increases. All state just got its first auto premium increase approved in years. Give me a sense of where the situation is for the insurers in California uh, going into this next wildfire season. Well, uh, I guess I would say that even though there have been rate increases in the last couple of years, um, California was starting from many, many years of inadequate rates. Um, a recent study from the National Association of Insurance Commissioners has our uh, statewide average premium about half of the average uh, premiums of hurricane-prone states like Florida and Louisiana. I mean, we had such a deficit created by a kind of a backwards-looking regulation um, that uh, would not allow insurers to, me to measure and uh, reflect their wise rising wildfire risk. Um, they also could not pass along the cost of reinsurance in their premiums. So um, even though they have been able to catch up somewhat in the last couple of years, um, rising reinsurance costs, inflation have just set the bar higher and higher. Um, at the same time, it takes a long time to get some of these rate increases. Um, there's some very big obstacles. There's a lot of uncertainty because the formulas um, that insurers are, are required to use to justify the premiums don't actually make actuarially sense and don't reflect actuarially sound um, hurdles to hit. So essentially, we have an insurance market crisis right now. It might or might not be possible to head it off. Um, mitigation is the key. But this legislation actually locks in insurers to, to, to an unlimited amount of, of risk at the, at the company level. They can't control it. They can't predict it. All they get is, is more wildfire exposure at a time when they're already having a hard time reinsuring their portfolio. So um, if you uh, require insurance companies to add policies 
um, and without the ability to control or predict their future exposures, that means they might not be able to purchase them as much reinsurers, uh, reinsurance as they need. They might not be able to afford it. They could get downgraded financially. They could get set into mandatory regulatory. Tesla, I could yeah, just yeah ju jump in jump here, in Carmen. There. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the picture Nancy is painting is, is terrible, but it's not the reality. Insurance companies, specifically home insurance companies in California, are four times as profitable as the national average. And I don't think there's a homeowner out there who's going to argue to you that lower premiums in the state of California is bad for homeowners. The reason we need this rule is because we need to start putting in place the incentives to make our state better. Let it me just ask you, Carmen, on that note, let me just yeah. ask you, if this, if this were to be passed into law, do you think that that would encourage the existing insurers who are offering property insurance to stay in California if they no longer can say whether their customer is somebody they want to keep insuring? We're asking them to insure the least risky people. These are the people who have made it unlikely that their home will burn down from fires. And that is a contract that the insurance industry in California has to keep when they have been selling insurance to homeowners who have put their life savings into their homes, who have spent 30 years diligently, honestly paying their premiums to suddenly be abandoned by the insurance industry is not sustainable. That will create economic stability, economic okay, collapse. Okay, well, we, so we watch, do to, see, we watch to see what the California state legislature says about this issue. Carmen, Nancy, ladies, thank you both.